So I guess the first question we have to ask is, are you really teaching design and technology? Design and technology provides a really important foundation for learning about the made world and our relationship to objects within it. In primary schools, when taught correctly, it can give pupils the start they need to really excel when they move to secondary level. D&T is so much more than a practical subject and more than just a means of, of applying what is learnt within literacy, numeracy and science. To deliver design and technology in ways that benefit pupils and allow them to flourish, certain principles need to be followed. A very useful definition of what D&T is, children should be designing something for somebody for some purpose. Simple craft making without considering the use and purpose of the end items such as a cardboard Viking shield or a Tudor house are not valid design and technology. To make sure people's designing and making activities are valid, you should ensure that the following six principles are met. Firstly, and perhaps most importantly, is the user. Who the products are actually for. The student should be able to identify with somebody or a group of people who are going to use this product. Secondly, the purpose. What tasks or function will the product perform? Third, functionality. How are the products actually going to work? What do they need to do to be successful? The next stage really is the design decisions. We have to give our students the opportunity to make their own choices. And that might mean making mistakes as well, but mistakes aren't terminal and actually can be part of the learning process. Innovation is a key part of design and technology. Students have to be encouraged to innovate, to try things that are different. And finally, authenticity. How believable or real the products will be to the children and to the end user. In your planning, make sure you use the star diagram to make sure that each aspect has been considered. For example, designing and making a bag for an elderly shopper, designing and making Christmas themed biscuits. Each product will have a different profile with each principle emphasized to a lesser or a greater degree. Over the course of a year, you should use this evaluation to ensure that each area of DNT has been adequately addressed. The star diagram can also be used to assess students' work and good classroom practice. Here at the association, we've got plenty of guidance on this and other aspects of design and technology. The projects on a page scheme of work, progression framework and associated resources give teachers the scaffolding they need to ensure that quality design and technology teaching and learning takes place within your school.